There's a new kid on the block in India called New Space India Limited, a part of the Department of Space. I have with me DR Suma, who's a rocket and a satellite specialist, worked at ISRO for long, and now is the chairman come managing director of New Space India Limited. Uh, Suma, when did New Space India Limited form and how soon did you start commercial activity? New Space India was Limited was formed in March 2019 with the primary mandate of commercializing space products and services. And uh, one, of the, one of the main reasons for forming this was ISRO has uh, increased its scale of activities and to meet this growing demand, it is required that the Indian industry scale up its activities in the high technology manufacturing sector. And as on today, we have signed about 10 agreements in which uh, three of them are for dedicated launch vehicle missions. Meaning, dedicated meaning a full vehicle which has been contracted by a customer where India would be earning money? Exactly. Uh, three dedicated uh, missions include two for po polar satellite launch vehicle missions and one for the small satellite launch vehicle. So India inching its way into the global space technology market? Yes. If you see, the global market is growing and commercialization of space has become the new area. And if you see, it's, a, there are, it's a, about uh, the commercial sp global space economies are about 360 billion. And uh, India can surely expect to win a sizable share of this market. And uh, I think Ensil will go, be able to do this.